Hello and welcome back to the Cosmic Engine for another episode of RPG Corner. Today we'll be looking at the newly released Kickstarter funded Shadowrun Returns. Now Shadowrun Returns was released on the 25th of July and developed by Harebrained Schemes. The game is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, iPad and Android tablets. So let's get right into it, shall we? So Shadowrun Returns takes place in a cyberpunk fantasy future. Uh, what was basically happened before... Um, now, it was the world was very much similar to our own until an event occurred called the Awakening. Now, the Awakening spawned the return of magic to the world and new races called metahumans. Now, metahumans are your traditional fantasy races such as elves, orcs, dwarfs and trolls. And the Shadowrun universe itself mixes kind of very, very much mixes cyberpunk elements with magic and a very urban, futuristic fantasy setting. Uh, it merges all those elements really seamlessly and thus produces a wonderful, um, diverse world and a very deep backstory. The world itself is very dystopian. Large corporations run much of the world and that has seen uh, areas to have mass poverty and thus a surge in crime in those areas. So you've got um, big street gangs or, uh, and then on the opposite end to that, you've got big corporate, lovely corporate offices that are, you know, um, very much the high life and glam of society. So in Shadowrun Returns, you take the role of a Shadowrunner, which are mercenaries with varying talents and goals. And they tend to do on and off jobs for different clients um, and, you know, they're kind of the, 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 the free runners of society. Now, you have fallen on difficult times and work has pretty much all dried up until you get a call from an old friend um, and a wonderful roller coaster of a plot ensues. Now, the game itself looks fantastic. Its colour scheme and almost comic book graphics really add a nice shine to the settings. Uh, the backgrounds, the pre-rendered backgrounds are fantastic and are filled with kind of neon, kind of mixed with a, a grim future grey setting. It really looks fantastic. The soundtrack adds real ambience while playing, jumping from very slow, eerie sounds of exploring a dark neighbourhood to a really fast fast-paced tempo of sounds um, when involved in battle. Now in the game you are not restricted um, to the classes that the game gives you. Uh, if you so desire you can simply pick and choose which stats and skills you want to progress in and as such you can build your own class around that. The races themselves have various additions to stats and racial attributes. Some of them, uh, some of the starting classes are really fun to play uh, including the physical adept, street samurai, decker and mage. Uh, they're all fantastic to play and as such you can customise them at will. So even if you choose a physical adept who is uh, more uh, focused on the f you know strength attributes, you can also have them uh, change into a range class if you so choose. So the game is very story driven and it's wonderfully done. There's no voice acting in the game which doesn't take anything away from the game I feel. Uh, the story and the character dialogue is given in text form and the text itself is really well written and it flows very well. There is great dialogue character dialogue choices available and each character you meet is described very reminiscent of a games master in a pen and paper RPG describing a character to you. Uh, it's done so well that it really does give each character you meet their own unique personality and you can kind of get a sense of what their character is about and, and the actual choices available to you are so quite varied. Um, that you are able to respond appropriately in whichever way you see fit. Uh, one great thing about the dialogue choices is that there's not just your standard dialogue choices, there is also choices that represent, um, that have affiliations with stats. So, for example, um, to avoid a certain situation, I could use, if I have a certain strength stat, I could intimidate a character and make them back away, but I would have to meet that strength requirement. Um, so it really does add something nice into the dialogue choices in that regard. Now, thankfully, the game is really friendly to new players to the Shadowrun universe. So if you don't know much about Shadowrun, uh, through talking to the characters in the game, you can learn a lot about the world and its history. Uh, the character models in the game, while not amazing, but by no means bad, uh, change as you change their equipment, which is a nice small touch and really feels like you're progressing in terms of that. 
Uh, one thing that really does annoy me about the game, and it really does gripe me, is the saving system in the game. Now, the game works off a checkpoint system that's built in. However, you don't have the ability to save at any point, meaning if you leave the game, say, halfway through a level, uh, when you load it back up, you may have to do the first half of the level again because the checkpoint system has probably took you back to the very start. Um, so that does get annoying and ends up you, when you leave the game and come back in, having to replay certain parts, which I can see from one point is not a total bad thing because you can get back into what's just happened in the game and then progress. But at the same time, if you've got quite far on in a level and then leave and then you have to do the entire level again, that is that can be quite infuriating. Now the game itself is nowhere near um, an open world RPG, it's relatively linear with the appearance of a much larger world. Each level itself is by no means small, but I certainly would have liked to be able to go off and explore and find unique things, uh, find out more about the lore of the world, um, but while the appearance of the setting is big um, it's actually quite linear and you really don't have the ability to travel back to locations earlier on in the game um, which is quite sad so if you kind of miss a side quest you don't really have the option to go back and do that side quest which is a bit disappointing in that regard now as you can see the combat is turn-based and it looks very similar to the recently released XCOM enemy unknown uh, it's your very typical turn-based turn-based combat uh, it really holds up well to the rest of the game it's not a flawed combat system it's just a very traditional turn-based system uh, one of the great things about the game however being an RPG with so many dialogue choices is that you are able to with given the right stats and the right um, dialogue choices, you can talk your way out of many fights. N no, by no means all of the fights. There still be will th there'll be an ample amount of fights. But for example, in side quests and things, you can intimidate or you know, uh, you know, use your your charisma stat or something like that to often talk your way out of fighting, giving you rewards for being more diplomatic if you so wish. Now the game's main campaign is available now and more DLC campaigns are being pr produced as we speak. One good thing about the game is that it comes with its own editor, giving fans and players the ability to create and share their own campaigns. Um, a word of warning however, it is not the easiest editor to use. It's not very user friendly and will require a bit of a learning curve. But no doubt we will see some great community pieces of content come out of this, which does really add to the longevity of the game and can produce a really good player-based, community-driven content. And, you know, if if players really do take a shine to the editor, um, you know, we'll hopefully some fantastic role-playing stories will come out of this. So in my overall opinion, it is a really good game. It's a great story-driven RPG and it's certainly worth picking up. Um, I certainly think that this game will get better as more of the content is brought out by both devs and the community. And I think depending on the quality of the content brought out, um, I think the game's days are all, can only get better. Um, you know, if we do see some fantastic dev and community driven content, I think that, you know, the best days are ahead really for this game. Um, so check it out on Steam. Definitely worth picking up at the moment. Uh, it's, it's around £15, which is around $20 game. Um, so definitely worth picking up, in my opinion, if you enjoy your story driven RPGs. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, do like, leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.